All right, what up everybody? Welcome back. Um, got a lot of new subscribers since our last video, so welcome. Thanks for subscribing and all that. Uh, hope you like what we're doing. Um, got a lot of variety in this channel, and just trying to, to, to keep putting out videos and all that that you guys like, and, and let us know in the comments what we're doing good, what we're doing bad, and all that other stuff. So just want to get that out of the way. Um, that being said, today, uh, Kevin's not in this video. Unfortunately, it's just going to be a uh, good old snarky, sarcastic, and generally annoyed all the time, Jess. So, um, but today I'm going to be doing a, a stator replacement um, in my Dyna. It's kind of, kind of part of like this whole like uh, refresh list that I got going on with this bike. Um, it's like going to be almost 20 years old, so uh, you got to do a couple things to it. Um, I'm going to get into that more when we get back, but uh, for now we got to go get some parts at the uh, the quality tool shop known as Harbor Freight. So I'm gonna hop on the, uh, the trusty DRZ here and uh, we're gonna do a quick ride, go get some parts um, or some tools, I should say, and uh, we're gonna get into this job. So that's the good thing about having two bikes running or two bikes in general is when you're working on one, you can keep riding the other one. So I'm gonna get the GoPro going and we're gonna take a quick trip up to, to Harbor Freight and uh, come back and get this. So I figured while I'm on my way to Harbor Ferry, I should explain why I'm replacing the stator. Basically, this is just one part of a plan I have to refresh my Dyna, so to speak. I did a lot of thinking about whether I wanted to keep this bike or buy a newer Dyna, possibly like a newer Softail, and for various reasons, I decided to just stick with this bike. I like the 99-05 Dynas a lot, and I just wanted to keep this bike a little bit longer. However, as it is almost 20 years old, there are some cosmetic and mechanical issues I need to address. So I bought a few parts. Most of them are pretty quick little things. Um, there are a few things that I would consider major upgrades. For the cosmetic things, I bought these 39mm fork boots. Just to jazz up the front end a little bit. Um, I bought these Vans waffle grips. Well, actually Kev bought these for me at Chopperama. I haven't paid them back yet, so shh, don't tell them. Um, and I got this Biltwell Whiskey Throttle. Uh, just because, I don't know, I'm a hipster, I guess. Uh, some of the larger mechanical upgrades include three new Harley polished uh, brake rotors because mine are pretty much scientifically hammered. Um, and I just went with the, the OEM Harley parts because I like that style of brake rotor and I like Harley parts when I can buy them. So, um, And finally, I bought an Excel electric stator to hopefully resolve an oil leak. Uh, yes, you heard that right. I'm probably the only person to replace a perfectly good stator uh, to correct an oil leak. Uh, basically this plug that plugs um, into the regulator from the engine just started leaking oil on me uh, and I simply don't do oil leaks well. So instead of doing a temporary repair job with some silicone or, or something like that, I just went ahead and got a new stator. Um, I bought an Excel stator, it was about 240 bucks. You can buy $60 stators all day, but I wouldn't recommend it. It's a pretty key component of your bike. It could ruin trips, it can ruin other components if it goes bad. So I just went ahead and bought pretty much one of the best stators I could buy just to make sure that I didn't have any issues um, in the long term. So we'll see how that plays out. So stick around, I'm just gonna film as much as I can and uh, check back in periodically to, to kind of update you on the progress. But um, you know, maybe it'll be progress or destruction, who knows. And, uh, and we'll, we'll go from there. Alright, so Harbor Freight didn't have the socket I needed, socket size, so i uh, going to head next to Home Depot, see if they got it. I'm also interested to see if the shop towels are going to fit in these bags. I hope so. <clears throat> Let's find out together. Can I fit both of them in one bag? Oh my god. Look at the cargo capacity. Oh, money. All right, so next to Home Depot. Everybody, check out your boy though. That is using the helmet lock. Oh, look at that. Just can't quit. Such functionality. Love it. Love it. Best feature of the bike, helmet lock. All right, so pretty much what I did so far is I just uh, disconnected the negative uh, from the battery. And then I, uh, I loosen this uh, primary uh, adjuster, so that thing's pretty loose. So 
Next is going to be taking this uh, behemoth off. Alright, uh, status update. I had to take a break and get some Chick-fil-A. This episode is sponsored by Chick-fil-A. Psych, I wish. I go um, to a tractor supply and uh, in Lowe's and pick up some of these sockets that I needed. Inch and three sixteenths is going to be for, for this nut right here. Once I take everything off. And then the uh, inch and a half is going to be for, for up here. So, just a little uh, intermission. Got some lunch. Get, kind of get my head right to do this. And uh, hopefully this fucking, these nuts come off. So, we'll see. Alright guys, so check this out right here. This is the... Uh, these are the, this is the plug that's coming from the regulator, and this is the plug that's coming from the stator. Um, got a lot of oil, trapped oil and water in there, uh, which is probably not good. <laughs> All right, update. A little tobacco break. I got the the uh, that tool and wedged in there pretty good, but that's not the issue. The issue is just the leverage to to crack that thing loose. I don't have enough uh, ass behind me. All my 145 pounds is kind of not doing a whole lot. So uh, asked my dad to come over. He's gonna bring some some leverage bars to slide over this breaker bar, and he's gonna help me hold the bike so we can hopefully crack these things loose. So just uh, just catching up on some. On some fast life. Boom. So yeah, that's it. A little break. Guys, so take a look at this the difference here look at these this is the Harley the old stator um, they're kind of like I don't know if that just got worn out but these are like kind of like ridges in here where it comes out of the uh, head of the motor and then right here you can see they're a lot more flanged they stick out or, or barbed they're a lot more barbed so hopefully that'll stop the uh, the oil from uh, from seeking out so and you can just see the comparison um, this one, it just looks, you know, uh, better made, and the, the coils seem a little more tight. I don't know if that matters, but um, I'm not an electrician, so I don't know. But it just looks, it just this one just looks better. Um, so what I got going on so far is I just kind of cleaned up the uh, the primary, cleaned up these bolts a little bit, cleaned up uh, all like the road grime and stuff uh, underneath it. I cleaned up these connectors here, cleaned out all the oil that was in there, um, cleaned out this connector, cleaned up all this stuff. Um, next is going to be putting the this little uh, clutch clutch push rod in and like the snap ring and all that stuff. I'll just get this all squared away. This is all tight now. Uh, primary chain's tight. And uh, and yeah, pretty much just gonna <clears throat> put this gasket, put this gasket in now.
So that's uh, that's it. Um, I just went and, and took my bike for a quick rip, uh, made sure it was charging um, uh, with a voltmeter. I think at idle it was around 14.2. Sometimes it dropped down to 14.10, and then um, when I uh, applied some throttle, it jumped up to 14.44. Um, so I think that's good. I don't know, um, but it's definitely uh, supplying the battery with some more power. So. Um, I think it's doing its job. Um, overall, it wasn't too painful to install. It took me quite a long time because um, just because it wasn't, it was the first time I did that, and I didn't want to make a mistake or or do anything crazy like that. And uh, and I was filming, so and uh, so a huge shout out to my dad. He came over and helped me. He uh, he took off. So uh, so I just finished up the job and uh, got the gaskets on there, and, and I think it's not leaking yet. So um, fingers crossed. I'm definitely going to put some more cautious miles on it before I venture too far out, but uh, I think it was a pretty successful uh, state of replacement. So uh, that's it for this video. I know it wasn't like a uh, part two of a Dyna uh, build, chopper build. Um, that's coming though, believe me. Um, we're still gonna, you know, we're still putting out that series. It's just Kev works full time. I work full time. It's just, you know, life gets in the way. So um, I think Kev's out in Daytona right now. Uh, catching some good footage, so we'll probably have another Kev video coming soon, and those are pretty uh, pretty eventful. So, but yeah, just want to thank everybody for watching, and um, you know we're we're still gonna be putting out videos uh, pretty consistently, um, a variety, some a lot of chopper stuff. I know Kev's really into into the chopper stuff lately, so and he's like you know really good at it. So uh, hopefully we have some pretty cool chopper builds in the mix. But but yeah, that was it for today. Just another you know generic. Uh, state of replacement type style uh, vlog. So uh, yeah, uh, catch you guys later.